The Couch Live with A Danae and April Clark Art. Hi guys. Hey. Welcome back. Yes. It's your girls, April Clark Art <laughs> and A Danae. Hey. And we have a great show planned for you. Yes. And we hope you're ready to have some fun with us. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a great time with some new exclusives, some of them. Real hot gossip, I suppose. And um, <laughs> just some new music that I've had to listen to. I really wanna talk about what? Big Sean. Oh, which one? Single again or just yeah, single, single again? We gonna talk about it, y'all. So make sure you stay tuned on HLX Radio. It's your girl, A. Danae. And it's your girl, April Clark Arts. And we hope you are ready for another superb ass episode mm -hmm. of The Couch Live. Yes. We have a great show planned for y'all. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about some music. Yes. We're going to talk about some videos. Talk about some sports. We are. We're talking about a lot of stuff today. We, yeah. we, we jam packing and actioned up. So, before we get started, we want to make sure that you have listened to who, who should they have listened to? They should have listened to GM what? <laughs> GMJR, sorry. Yes, you should have listened to GMJR, which is now playing on HLX Radio regularly in rotation. And we're gonna take it into congratulations because congratulations is almost Friday. So, yes, we're gonna pour these drinks up and we'll be right back, y'all. Congratulations. That was hot. I was over here rocking, yeah. doing my bop. So, we hope you was rocking with it too. Mm -hmm. So, May, June. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> How was your week, girl? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> my week, I'm ready. I'm just ready to get off. I'm tired. Like, I'm officially checked out of teaching and irritated by it. Irritated. What's irritated. irritating you, girl? Um, just this new wave of students where it's just ugh, they about that life and they ain't nothing to tell them. What? Oh, they got like, tubes everywhere. Mm. They just just real good. Like, they don't care. I'm like, so I mean, good. this is where I work. But, you know, as a teacher, you always have this outlook on life. I'm just ready to get up out of there with that energy. And I could definitely say that the retrograde had a Ooh, girl. Freaking, I done cut my, cut my freaking finger this week. Retrograde. Talking about Freakin somebody Ooh. who was just, oh, 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 oh. But the next thing you know, I'm cutting, I'm cutting a bunch of hair, trimming her freaking crochets. Boom. Just cut my hand. What are talking about? Then I had to hold my finger for like 30 minutes for it to stop bleeding. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Lord, have mercy. Uh, 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 so yeah, my week was just... My week was... <laughs> <What a weekend. laughs> yeah, who, who you tell me? I'm off tomorrow. Honey, it is the oh. weekend. Mm. So, um, my week been okay. I've been like stressed the hell out. You know, I've been writing my articles, then doing some essays, then we'll be doing the show, then I gotta, I gotta do some YouTube videos. Y'all, we gotta go do some fun shit so I can be vlogging. <laughs> like, yeah, so, so nice we stuff. are. We, I can vlog that, man. Y'all have seen too many uh, vlogs of me drunk. I don't know if y'all seen them, but YouTube has seen them. So, we supposed okay. to be going to see Meek Mill. Yeah. We're going to a little party party next weekend. Yeah. So, yes, I'm so excited for us to live this hot girl summer but listen let me tell y'all something a hot girl summer does not mean a whole summer right so i need these men's to, to stop together. like being mad because we is unapologetically in our glow mm -hmm. like yeah. it's cool homeboy you'll yeah. have your time too it's secure but <laughs> let us have our hot girl summer shoot august we gonna have to bring this joint out with a bang so yeah it's about to be lit i hope y'all is having lit ass summers too um linking up with cool people doing good shit yes whatever it may be and just being lit whatever that means to you so what you want to talk about mm. big sean. okay let's let's talk about big sean so oh, we're gonna talk about that later. Big 
Sean released two songs um, within the last week. Okay. Um, within the last week, and it was single again, and it was overtime. Okay. So don't talk about the video of the single again yet. Okay. So tell us what you thought about the song, because you know Janae is in it. Yeah, yeah. So I listened to it and I really don't like the flow of the song. Uh-huh. I believe Big Sean has a different style, which is why I'm like, I still have to get adjusted to it. I was never really a Big Sean fan. What? Seriously. Like it's maybe a couple songs of him that I really, really like, but as far as like vibe and listen to him wow. regular, no, I know. I love Big Sean. He a vibe though. He is a vibe, but I just my you can't sound, get in his yeah, vibe. My sound is a little different. He kind of reminds me of a more of a poet at this point in those mm -hmm. songs. It's like he's talking to us. He's not a and rapper. single again, I. I appreciate Janae being on the song because you know all the speculation that was going on yeah um but yeah it sounded like he was like pinning an open letter or some yeah. shit it wasn't really like a song song mm -hmm. now overtime was my shit okay overtime was my shit he was in there doing job dropping gems sprinkle them <laughs> um it was one thing that I tweeted this morning that I was just like yes because it resonated with my soul okay he said uh Look, I'm looking at my damn Chance to Rapper tickets. He said, the universe been throwing me all the signs except for stopping. I was like, come on, Shawnee. I felt that. <laughs> felt it. It was just like every line was like a something, a, a, quote, a notable quotable or something. Something you could put on your IG picture, but something <laughs> that you really could like relate to. Yeah. So I was with it. I always fuck with Big Sean. I love him. I love his shows, Little Midget. He's so <laughs> dope. So what y'all think about the song? If you've listened to it, right. let, let us know. know. If you watching this video, drop a comment, like all of that. So we got something that I want to start doing every week. Yes, Math Pop? <laughs> I want to start doing trivia on the couch. Right. So I'm going to think of a cute little name for it, but for now we're doing trivia on the couch. Okay. So this is my my uh, question for everybody listening. And if you know the answer, tweet us at HLXMag, and I'm going to tweet the question now. Okay? What was the name of the song sampled in the bad boy hit, Mo Money, Mo Problems, by Mace, Biggie, and Puffy? Puff Daddy, P Diddy, whatever you want to call him, P Lion. <laughs> um, let, me, let me give it to you again. What was the name of the song sampled in the bad boy hit Mo Money, Mo Problems by Mace Biggie and P Diddy? Mm -hmm. So we're going to get y'all an answer at the end of the show, but for now, we're going to go into some more music. Yeah. So this is some All I Want, because All I Want is for it to be Friday. Yes. Oh. <laughs> We are back. Yes. So I just hear April listen to um, Sam Smith. How do you sleep? Yes. Did it resonate with you, or how you feel about it? I'm really like zoning out those kind of love songs to a certain degree. So it didn't, it didn't, it didn't hit my heart like I wanted it to. But it was a nice vibe. It hit my heart. <laughs> okay, I feel it. I'm like, you sleep when you love someone. Yeah, it was like okay. <laughs> It was kind of giving me waiting to exhale vibes. Oh man. Yeah. And it was like <laughs> trying to be current, but still like back then. Like some Tony Braxton. Yeah. Oh, I love me some Tony Braxton. Another sad love song. Something like, like, like Brian McKnight ish. Yes. So I was listening to that earlier today. Hmm. And then you know how Spotify does a little shuffle mm -hmm. shit. So it shuffled and it played, um, what is the name? Sam Smith. Calvin Harris and Jesse Reyes. Oh. I love Jesse Reyes, but whatever. So it played that song called Promises. And let me tell you, this morning, I went and got me a large coffee with an espresso shot. You still on 10? On 10, girl. I was oh, at my desk. No, I didn't. Okay. I was at my desk listening to that song, literally dancing in my seat. Like, just going, just bopping. Like I'm at a, a EDM festival. I'm like, okay. Oh. I played it like 10 times, G. Still here in it. I felt jittery as fuck. I want to be like that right now. So, I'm still
still kind of on TN from this espresso shot. It ain't never had me like that before, but I ain't had coffee in a while. And I've been having hella shit to do. So, yeah, yeah it'd be like that. <sighs> but if y'all ain't heard that song, you need to listen to it. And you need to drink coffee. When you don't need to drink coffee, it's bad. Coffee is good for you. It's good and bad. You shouldn't overdo it. Yeah. Like, um, I was watching this thing when you watched the Try Guys before on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all with you one time. So it's like two white dudes, an Asian dude, and no, three white dudes. Three white dudes and an Asian dude. And they basically try different stuff. And I love their channel. And dude be like trying out all of the foods at a different restaurant. Right. This man's wife was pregnant. So they did like a birthing simulation and hooked up pain joints. Yeah, it was crazy. What? But um, so they did one where it was like they become old people. Okay. But like they try to make them old people. Why did I just forget my hope though? Okay. <laughs> what did I ask you? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> no, for real, they had a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to it. Yeah, everyone hit twist that her hair. I can't remember what I asked you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think for a quick second. But y'all, anyways. So, in gossip news, girl, think about it, cause I'm lost. You <laughs> too. Um, you just start talking about food. I don't know. We know you Starbucks, I guess. I don't know. Oh, so they one thing was like, uh, they did a video where they was basically like they couldn't drink. We just flipping. They couldn't drink coffee at all. And dude says every morning he gets up. He gets out of his bed, gets a cup of coffee, gets back in his bed, sits there with his wife, drinks his coffee, then gets out of bed, gets dressed for work, gets more coffee, and then leaves the house. Yeah. They took like they took his coffee away for the week. Oh, they had to eat like pregnant women. That's what oh, it was. Okay. So it was like he couldn't have all that caffeine. And he looked crazy. He looked draw. He was like, I don't even know how I'm functioning right now. I'm barely woke. I was like, that is ridiculous. I'm not never addicted to coffee like that, but my manager drink like four, five cups a day. Yeah. Like people at my job do it, and I'm like, I don't want to be like this. Cause I crash, I'm gonna crash so hard tonight. I know you are. Like, I'm just going, you gonna leave? <laughs> and you gonna be sitting at this chair like, I'm done. I may be on the couch. So y'all, I went like at least a week without sleeping in my bed. Cause I was always told to sleep on the couch. Dang. So, back to the music. <laughs> or not music, the gossip. Jordan uh, Woods, of course, um, everybody's still been talking about that because Keeping Up With The Kardashians just went off. Supposedly, Kylie has finally um, unfollowed her on like Instagram and stuff because another story came out that she was trying to talk to James Harden. Mm. And it was like, they had been seen um, out at some little restaurant and then you know people be speculating yeah. so they was like usually he brings an entourage but him and Jordan were really cozy or something like that okay I don't be realizing how young these little basketball players are he? he's in his 20s but yeah. uh yeah this generation is all new like the ones we grew up on are old he's 29 oh, so he I mean he's still yeah he right around our age and it was like they have been kicking it or whatever kicking. and then something has said that they messed with each other in the past but you know that's chloe x and then how, how current though i don't know lenore pointed out that chloe stole him from trina so right so girl ugh. yeah so now they're mad and then i'm like talk about this. jordan it said it was like platonic or whatever um because clearly she been kicking it with the family she would know him right yeah so I don't know. I don't. That ain't my business. Y'all is out of my tax I bracket. Cannot stand the Kardashians. They just want the spotlight. They want. Y'all basically made fame for fucking with black dudes. Yeah. And you mad when other people fuck with black dudes? And other black girls mess with them. That right? you stole. That you tried to steal from other black females. But apparently Kylie skincare line, um, they stopped selling it for a minute because it hit a legal roadblock according to the patent and trademark office um they they issued a notice of suspension due to another trademark case that was registered as kylie skin before hers oh. and apparently damn window <laughs> apparently uh in 2017 the other company someplace called some chinese shit shenzhen heidi cosmetic tools Registered the name Kylie Skin so they could basically sell brushes and tools under her likeness. 
What? So, before she can start selling stuff again, she gotta handle that. You know, I don't like her anyway. Whatever. But that's crazy that these Chinese people was like. That's low key smart, cause she, that means she gotta pay them. And I'm a, I'm a upcharge you like a bitch to get your shit. Knowing you a billionaire? Oh, I need at least a million. You won't be using Kylie skin, bitch. <laughs> Give me two. <laughs> right? <laughs> and what's, what's, what's it to it? Nothing. Exactly. Two dollars? That was Stormy birthday party. So, before we go into some more topics, we are going to kick it into some more music. So, this is Tyrone Leakes with Make Love Play 2K. Okay, y'all. So, we are back. Um, it's time to talk about the single again video. Because it's been a, that's been a tie into another one of our topics. And... We just, yeah. <laughs> what you thought? What did you think about it? Okay, so like I said earlier in the show, well, I'll explain the concept. Okay, so the concept basically is uh, telling a story to prove someone innocent when they're guilty. So it's like going backwards somewhat and going forward. Uh, what? The, the way the, of the so I mean like in basic okay. terms. Layman's terms. <laughs> Basically, somebody cheating. Big Sean was put on trial. Yeah, put on trial. Cheating. And then, um, basically, his fans and everybody around was trying to convince, Protest. yeah, that he wasn't guilty. And like this girl parallel between. So basically, in the whole realm of human existence, people can go to jail for cheating. And yo, Paul, pause. If niggas <laughs> could go to jail for cheating, for cheating. <laughs> Girl, please. We can go to jail too. I mean, I ain't chill, so I ain't worried. But, we can go to yo, jail too. if they could go to jail for cheating, let me tell you how. I know, you have a square up. And so listen, it's been getting to jail. <laughs> and if the years was like the number, mm, mother boy. Yo, they need to implement something like that in real life while they trying so. to police our damn uterus. I know. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, soapbox. <laughs> uh, basically, they, the girl, so it was like a group of girls and one girl had a situation where she believed her guy was cheating. And then she got amongst other women and they would talk about, oh yeah, my son so went to jail. Ooh, ooh. And then all of a sudden, she, she asked, like, where are you hearing this from? And they just said basically all the social media platforms. Yeah, and, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. Twitter. And we just no evidence. stopped and was like, this is some buffoonery because it's, you really can't believe anything that's going here. And if my man is out here protesting with Big Sean, he has to not be cheating. Almost. But, that, but they was trying to tell her, like, yeah. because he think he innocent, how can, she was like, I don't know how I can be with somebody that thinks he's innocent. Right. And in the beginning, like, you see how they opened up with the baby shower. Yeah. And you she got there. She one, there yeah, they was both, like, it showed flashes to both of them by themselves, but never together until, like, all of the Big Sean scandal, I guess, made her realize, or both of them realize, like, damn, I'm out here protesting for him, and, like, damn, I'm with them talking about yeah. my nigga, like, no, let me go back, go home where it's cute, but in reality, Big Sean got Janae on there because they better off as friends, and yeah. the video was really cute, yeah, you should go watch it. it. It actually makes the song more worthy to me. Yeah, this is what videos used to be. Yeah, like, like it, it was brought dope. me back to like Maya, Brandy type of vibe. And it was like, uh, at the end, it was on this little church sign. It was like, don't forget to wake up and smell yeah. the roses. So it, it was real, it was real cutesy. So um, if you like looking at the lyrics, he was like, I'm single again. Told him we'd be better off friends. Maybe I should just focus on me. <laughs> um, and then he was basically saying, what have you done for yourself? What have you done for your mental health? So I've been thinking a lot about that this week. And like dealing with the, the male situations that I've been in. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, like I feel like I need to just chill on like dating for a while. Yeah. And like, cause you know, I be busy as hell. So one, I don't be having time to fit no, no, uh, <laughs> no Negro in my schedule like that. Shoot, I barely got time to like go kick it. Yeah. And I'm trying to go kick it over, go kick it with a Negro at this rate. Um, 
Cause they be here today, gone tomorrow. What's that quote from the <laughs> chair? Hold up. Drake, the yeah. Drake song? Yes, that is the quote of the day. Here today, uh, gone tomorrow. So I feel like it's important for you to like have that time. I've been going through like a real introspective time. Yo, Mercury leaving that retrograde was like the best shit that could happen to me. Like I've been feeling so clear. Like, and just like, damn, you know what? I don't need to be doing this. I need to do this. I need to start putting this in motion. I need to wake my ass up. So, I also had a conversation about that. Cause you know how I was like on the last show, I don't know how to date. Yeah. <laughs> so, my schedule, like, I be on the phone all night cause I be up doing stuff all night. So I was talking to Lenore about this. And she was just like, you know, you not just up to be up. Like, you normally up doing something. And a guy don't know that like, you fall asleep on the phone with everybody. <laughs> or like, um, you be up, <coughs> excuse me, Lord. You be up all night just up because you be writing something, you be editing something, you be doing something. She was like, these niggas just be up. <laughs> like, Lord. yeah. And they thinking like, oh, you so head over heels for them because you allowing them that, them that time not knowing that that's the most time that you have in the day. Yeah. So I was like, mm, huh. that's interesting as hell. <laughs> like for real. So I've been really like thinking about that type of stuff, thinking about like stuff in my past uh, and past relationships and what I chose to accept. And like I said on that last video, y'all, we got checklists. Yeah. Or not checklists, but like, the standards yeah standards expectations like these dudes really think that you supposed to like get them whatever like you yeah, just like deserve their time off top because yeah. i said so like because they said so yeah or so, because they asked like well why not why you saying no yeah like we don't say yes to everything we can't make this easy so <laughs> that reminded me so like clearly we in the age of dating apps i'm sure y'all got them yeah so on my joint i said I don't want nobody with hella kids. Swipe that left. Go ahead and hit that left. I won't be mad. You can be fine as hell. Hit that left. <laughs> I don't need that. So, um, I was, so I put that, and you know how people get little updates and shit. That shit's stupid. It really is. So, uh, this guy sends me a message, and he like, um, I got three girls. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Why, exactly not? Why not? Why not? And I'm like, I looked at it and I'm sitting there thinking and I'm like nigga I don't owe you no response right, no explanation. like why would you even ask me that's cool you got three kids unmatched so uh, you know what it's cool I'll do it for you right like <laughs> I got my preference and you got yours yeah the fuck this is that honorary ego like men just expect based off of who they are as a species to get what the fuck they want and actually it's not it's in there it's in their biological makeup honestly <laughs> it really is you want to go back Believe in the Bible, or whatever. He got whatever he wanted. <laughs> I was just like, who? Like, and then, and like, old me probably would have responded, like, um, because, I don't, like, fuck that. I don't owe you shit. Yeah. Like, I don't owe you nothing, not yeah. my time. And then it was a meme on uh, Facebook, and I gotta, I gotta read it word for word because the meme spoke to my life. I feel like it spoke to all of my lives. Okay. Um, and you don't think I'm crazy. Really? But yes, you always already think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And it said, uh, you ever been out with a group of black girls with good jobs? Oh. They spend money like drug dealers. <laughs> yeah. Appetizers, <laughs> bottomless mimosas, and yes. guacamole and everything. Yeah. And then the, the little caption on it was, this is why your $40 is insufficient. Like, so because this guy on his joint, he put... I'm not taking no female on no date over fifty dollars. What? Not for the first date, no. I mean, but for you to even put that out there, like you, you could, could okay, you like it's a lot of women who mm -hmm. do that. They could you could easily be like, oh, let's go like you could do something cute. Let's go do something cutesy or like put a suggestion. Yeah, anything. All it's summertime. Let's go to this festival and let's meet up, talk, walk around. That's like a good little cute date. Something yeah. like, but I feel like for them to say that they had 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 to have encounters like so that. keep that shit to yourself. And I know, but just like bitter men, it's only group Like go to a group on. They don't know that 
that shit. Yeah, well then, look, let me give you a little tip. A little tip. A little tip. They really don't. Get your ass on Groupon. They have restaurants on there where you can get 30 or get 50 for 20 and get 30. Like, save your coin if you date that many women. Like, for real. Yeah. Because I was just like, this just make you look cheap. And just go somewhere where you don't have to spend that. It's cute ways around saying that. The fact that you need to say that, it's like, why the fuck would I respond to your message? I, first of all, I dropped $50 on drinks um, on a night out in a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, get bills back and they be 75 So you think I'm concerned with you spending 25 on me? <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, for I mean, real. I'm, first of all, at this age, I'm not going out for no free meal. Like, yeah. I can feed my damn self. Yeah. And you got guys going, they just want a free meal. It's the high girl shit. Da, da, da. No. Yeah. Maybe just, so I literally listened to this podcast where this girl was like, she was going out at one point for the meal. Yeah. She ain't had no money. Okay. And she was like, she was going through this period where she was struggling. So she was literally taking dates off Tinder just to go out to eat. And I was like, now nah, that's wow. uh, that's a time, cause I don't think yeah, I would ever. Uh -uh. Given my presence and my time to continuous fuck niggas just cause I want to eat, baby, they make ramen. Yeah, I can live off better than corn pop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for real. Some change, you know. Like, speaking of these <laughs> <some> apps, <laughs> but um, what do you, what do you do for self care? in between um like being a single black woman um what i do is really just i shop honestly <laughs> it's not a good thing but uh i shop and i create mm -hmm. like i I create, I shop, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I shop for stuff that will make me feel good about me. Retail therapy. Yeah, like, or what my likes and interests are. Like, right. I do that. Um, just to remind me that this is about me. I sit, watch a show, nails. Like, it's just, for me, it's that type of thing. And then also, uh, just meditating and stretching. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I move so much and I never get to sit back. Like, I know every day after work, I sit down for at least an hour. I lay down. That's my Instagram scroll. Because <laughs> I, my body, and just my mind and my spirit, like, uh, I can't. <laughs> That's one thing that I was thinking about, like, being able to buy stuff for yourself and, yeah, like, all of that. So, like, lately, I've been going to work, coming home, trying to hurry up and write, type whatever. I Usually, every night, I've been falling asleep on top of my computer. Ooh. And then I wake up, remember I didn't finish something, get back on my computer, be like, okay, it's what, 4.30 in the morning? Cool. Go to sleep for like 40 minutes, wake back up, time to go to work. Go to work, do it all over again. So that's been like my pattern for like the last seven days. And I was like, you know what? some cute shit like I want a silk robe and get yeah, me some so you can feel good in yeah and yeah. just like chill and I bought my little bath joint so I said I'm gonna order me some books and I said I was gonna start reading every night at least like 30 30 45 minutes yeah. a night instead of the and, phone yeah because this week uh me Eleanor and Courtney really been like trying to eliminate uh Instagram of Makes course sense. we can't do it completely right but like um I don't go like I don't go there nearly as much because one most of the time I went on there, it was to talk to them um, or to talk to Lenore and Ashley. Right. And then now we just been talking on like just regular talking on Facebook Messenger. Courtney been reading more, you know, they got kids. Yeah. So it's yeah. like you can spend more time doing X, Y, Z because I was literally coming home and it takes me maybe 10, 15 minutes to get home now. Getting home, looking at the clock, it's 5, it's 5.12. I'm scrolling through IG. Going to Twitter, right. hopping back and, and forth between the birds. Six o'clock. Six thirty. Six forty. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I was supposed to be doing this, 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 and now yeah. I'm rushing. So I'm just trying to go through little phases to bring my detox. mental health. Yes. Yeah. A media detox. Um, get my my spirits where they need to be for me to like actively like date in the way that yeah. I want to okay. and then meet somebody that's like on that same way. Yeah. So yeah, we're trying to get married in the next couple of years. I don't know about y'all. If it happens, girl, I'm just saying. You you didn't have that. I ain't shit. Well, ain't no ring on that, this thing. But you 
know, you're very close, and there's a lot of us around around are married now. And that's the yeah, a lot of people married, married with kids mm -hmm. or whatever. But it'll happen. Yeah. Um, when it's for you, it's for you. You know, me, boo, daddy, and he gonna be like, eh, and I'm gonna be like, eh, and that's gonna be it. Yeah. So, anyways, tweet us something that you do for self care. Um, remember to follow us on Twitter at HLXMag and just hashtag the Couch Live. So, we're gonna go into some more music and we'll be right back, y'all. to go in uh oh. in the store and like you can see what's her name Corey Corley yeah you can see her wedding dress and it was like the little girls um oh. what you call that shit I was gonna say little flower dress the flower girl dress oh. and from his daughter and then like you could hold the CD and take a picture on like the what? big day the album cover it was kind of like wonder uh yeah. One of them joints, yeah. but he was also selling like Chance merch, yeah. and he was also, if you didn't know, let me tell y'all about. Oh my morning, I was trying to get Chance tickets, and I was just like, so he sold the pre-sale codes on his website. Talk about smart. Sold the pre-sale codes for ten dollars. And you got like a digital copy of the CD, which we already have because we got Apple Music and Spotify. Yeah. So, so it's the digital copy of the CD, and basically, basically, you had to pay him to pay him early. Yeah. So that bag, that bag, that bag. Her name is Kristen. Yes, but her last name is like Corby, something like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, basically. He was selling the tickets or whatever, and people got their joints this morning. They got the code, so they got the code last night uh, before five, and then they also would get the code and they could, they could purchase this morning. Yeah. So at ten o'clock, Ticketmaster website damn near like shut down, and it was yes because uh, my friend that's coming up here was trying to buy tickets to the meat meal joint, and the site was not working. Cause they had do, they've been doing city card pre-sale. I'm getting me a damn city card. I'll be at every concert on the moon. So With city card does all like concerts. You just gotta use your city card. That's how they get you. Cause I've been and ran that hoe up on concert tickets. So uh, yeah. Once so, you pay one down, get that one. Girl, <laughs> real. I don't need it. Cause that's like that's what you that's do, a though. credit card on top of concerts. But that's what you that should rack up quick. Okay, so wait. So what? Well, um, you could buy tickets. They were like 150, and then Ticketmaster fees took them to like 175. So I'm like, gee, like the responsible part of me don't need to spend this money. And I was like struggling. So I finally found a presale code because people was all on the internet like, uh huh, don't want to go see Chance now. Um, anybody want a presale code? And somebody posted it. Bitch, I'm all in Ticketmaster. Like, let's get some tickets. And then it would it would only let you buy one. Yeah. So I was devastated. Looked on Live Nation because normally they got pre-sales, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get a ticket. So I was just like, "This is God <laughs> telling me drop that 175 on one of them credit cards that uh, yeah, <laughs> you need to be paying off instead of buying more shit." Yeah. But if I give me a nosebleed seat on the day of for kind of cheap, I'm going. So yeah. So before I give you my full full review of the CD, because I got to pick out my favorite songs and everything. Okay. You gonna listen to this abyss by Chilla. <laughs> That's what y'all gonna do. And we'll be right back, y'all. The camera about to die. <laughs> so, we back. Now, Chance the Rapper <laughs> just released his CD, The Big Day, on July 26th. And the internet went up. 
like it because the city is legit, right? So first of all, um, we just gonna start. So let's talk about the features. Let's talk about the features. Who who on here? Who on here? We got John Ledger, <laughs> Death Cab for Cutie, Smino, my personal favorite in one of my favorite songs, Eternal. Um, we got Maiden, how do you say his name? I've been calling him Maiden Tokyo, Maiden Nine Tio, whatever. The baby is on here. Um, in Vogue, Ari Lennox, his little brother, Francis and the Lights, <laughs> Megan V. <Yeah>. Stallion, <laughs> um, Gucci Man, Sean Mendez, Cowboy, Lil Dirk. Come on, put on for your city. Um, and of course, Nicki Minaj, SWV, um, and then Nicki Minaj is also on another song. Okay. So the SWV is like a whole bop. It's like a little skating okay. joint. I feel like I'm still running, da, 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 okay. me. Like I was at work. Like <laughs> <laughs> I ain't found no good one, but I will, girl. Yes, I'm still. I feel like I want to get on some skates. Like for real, you know how the niggas be skating and they be yeah. like glad. That's how it make you feel. I think I went on there. That's like you know, house. Got the house feel. Eternal, like, first of all, I appreciate the collection because you got a black man, basically, the whole damn CD is about his wife. In, in like, in General essence, love. yeah. Love. Like, you don't hear, why they not, um, these executives looking like Peyton Manning going home to their wives and celebrating anniversaries and birthdays and dressing up as Santa, but y'all not trying to sell that narrative. So you got a black man who just got married, who's happy to be married, who like I got my two favorite roommates. Like, Aww, it's it's so the cute. cutest thing ever, and the city just make you feel so good. Aww. And I was just listening to it like, oh my god, I love this. Yeah, <laughs> so like, it's just a good overall vibe. And then spill the tea, sis. Nicki Minaj announced that she was basically pregnant, about to walk down the aisle. Oh. On Zanies and Fools. So that is a really good song. I listen to his CD completely out of order. Courtney, you had me listening to that first <laughs> after I had listened to like random stuff. Okay. So I've been slip, slip slopping. Okay. Flip flopping. I have not been slip slopping. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> sounds a little strange there. So I have been flip flopping <laughs> between Chance the Rapper. And why me and Corday? Did you listen to that? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think about it before I say how I feel? Uh, Cause I, 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 go <laughs> I think it's nice. I mean, it's a different. This is definitely a different vibe. Um, personally, I'm getting acquainted with Corday, mm -hmm. uh, his style, but I feel like they fit though. Who? Corday and Chance. Their yeah. style is like mesh. So. So. I loved the YBN and Corday CD too. Like, loved it, loved all of it. So I was talking to somebody um, when Dreamville CD came out and they was like, it's too much rapping. And I'm like, what? And he was like, it's too much rapping on that CD. What? Nigga, it's Dreamville. Right. What did you expect? He was like, he, he thinks that like Future is the greatest nigga ever. And he literally will be like, um, but Future make music for like, it's inspirational self-destruction is what he called it. He said he makes inspirational, self-destructive, ignorant nigga music. Who? Future. And he oh was basically God. like, he couldn't get in a Dreamville joint. I feel like if you like real, like conscious rap, like J. Cole, Kendrick, uh, Dreamville, all of that, like Boss, I love me some Boss too. Um, I love me some Smino. Like if you like that vibe, it's like, it's different. And it's like a real dope ass, like chill vibe. Yeah. So, Why Me and Corday, my favorite song on the CD, happened to be the one with Chance. And it was called Bad Idea. So if you haven't heard that song, y'all need to get in tune. And it's like, um, the whole CD has like, it, just, it to me, it make you think, it make you like be retrospective, introspective on your life or whatever. And still like, I was in that bitch like, damn, I, I 
can do this shit. Like I was listening to what I was like, yo, I got this shit. Like for real. Like I'm in my car like, this is my shit. I got this shit. I'ma be that bitch. Sorry for the cursing guys. But like that's how I felt. Like, yo, I was just like, I'm that nigga. But I was listening to this. And then after me feeling like that nigga, I'm like, I'm that nigga and I can give me a bomb ass, like. Dude, and that's how Chance made me feel. Yeah. Like to not settle for like mediocre yes. type. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, this is like <sighs> perfect timing. Oh. Perfect timing, guys. Good job. Thumbs up from me. A plus. <laughs> so, we just watched a video. We watched Lizzo. Tempo. Yes. Thoughts? I like it. I feel like the videos we've watched lately bring us back to how we used to watch videos back then. Like they have a storyline or some type of creative element that is just not you just in front of the screen showing what you got. <laughs> but like literally like what's in your pocket in your house. I, I'm, I'm this type of person. Mm -hmm. But uh, the creative background kind of reminded me of old Missy video. You know. And Missy was in there. <laughs> so uh, I really I really enjoyed it actually. Slow songs like yeah. skinny girls can't move yeah. like this. Yo I love Tempo. I love Lizzo because of her confidence and her like bitch I'm still that nigga. Like that's exactly how she acts. And it's dope as hell for like in general society for niggas to look at her and be like why she got that on or what like it's refreshing her confidence is refreshing mm -hmm. and it's like a good term for music because her the females in her video were like um she did like an instagram competition that she was like she looking for all the big girl dance yeah uh, that was appreciated yeah she did that and then she also did one where they was like on um she was at a festival or something and she was looking for them to come out and basically dance with her on the stage because she said uh, skinny girls can't move like that. <laughs> but it was just a fun ass video it where was. she was just like I'm she a nigga. Yeah, period. 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 Poo. Is that how you use it? Period. Poo. Period. I poo. Say poo. I just say period. That's the little kid thing. Now. Period. Poo. <laughs> so yeah. We gonna go back into one more song and then we gonna come back and we gonna close out the show because yeah. we are over time y'all. Yeah, it's been fun. 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 So. <laughs> Back into the music, and then we're gonna come back and say goodbye, farewell to you. My of the new music that just dropped. So, before we go into another topic, yes. So, Fora, I don't know, most people don't know who Fora is. Um, P H O R A. I fuck with him like yo, to the moon. If you don't listen to nothing else by Fora, listen to To the Moon. It is like one, it's slow. He kind of depressing sometimes, but he like if you in one of them like moods where you just like I just want to be sad or like because okay. like I can't listen. I couldn't listen to this oh, at work. Really? Like I couldn't listen to this at work. You definitely got to be in the mood like lights down, wind up, chilling like that. So he released a CD um, called Bury Me with a Dead Rose. It, like even the name just like this ain't happy music whoa um and then Ed Sharan released this CD and I still haven't listened to it and I'm kind of mad because there's a lot of people on this joint and he released it on the 12th okay um then you have uh, Gold Roses, Rick Ross and Drake um if you like nigga music which I do <laughs> Young Dolph and Key Glock <laughs> listen <laughs> Young Dolph and Key Glock released a, um, a little mixtape or a CD together and it's called Dumb and Dumber. Like, okay. you really, for me, like I gotta be in my nigga music mindset where I feel like, you know, flipping bricks that day. Oh, okay. So like, oh, if exactly. I feel like bri flipping bricks, like I'm pissed off and I just wanna, mm, 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 you know, mm. and then, you know, Young Dolph is my nigga. Okay. <laughs> for real, I love Young Dolph. But he released that, her, <laughs> Red, white, and motherfucking blue. Uh huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> her released the song called Twenty One, which she had previously uh, released or well, wrote when she was twenty one. Okay. Um. Her soccer playing behind. And then, yeah, I still need to watch this. So you know, I stand for Drake. Yeah. But this video is ten minutes long. I don't. Which one? No, no guys. I never watched the full thing. I was annoyed by. It. Why? Why well, I'm gonna sit through 
10 minutes. I'm gonna sit through it. I'm gonna do it tonight while I'm writing. So I'm gonna watch the video tonight and then I'm gonna tweet y'all. I wanna see the break dance. That's what I really wanted to see. Oh, he done dance? That's no. What I mean. Well, we should have known. Drake a little dance. bit, but it ain't like Drake Chris could have taught him in the video. Courtney said Drake is an uh, a old white man in a mixed body. <laughs> and he is. But we love him and it's okay. So, wait. So what is, what's on your playlist? What's on your playlist this week? What you been listening to? Or what's your favorite genre? Mm. Genre. I like that word. Um, my favorite genre is genre. rap right now. Really? I and you ain't listening to Chance? I don't know. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. I've been listening to Hood. Oh my god. So but that means you should listen to Key Glock. <laughs> it's what my students listen to, so it's like. What they be listening they, to? Lil Dirt. Ugh. Oh my god. I don't listen to I'm sorry. These names Chicago, that I have no Chicago, idea about. Chicago, yeah. Tulsi Down. Like that. Yeah. And I've been trying to put them on and do stuff. I'm like, let me leave. I'm, let me retire early. I'm over oh, this. <laughs> I'm over it. But no. Um, I just been having on repeat these old school music. I've listened to a lot of old school music. Okay. As of lately. So that's why it's like, nah, I've been listening to uh, Drew Hill, Bobby Brown. Brown. The other day I listened to Push a Man by Curtis Mayfield. I, am <laughs> I was a blasting man. <laughs> blasting guy. So yeah, I've been on that old nostalgia like old school. So what I've been listening to? I've been so this morning I randomly had the urge to hear Fighting Temptations. You know that song with yeah. Beyonce Free? I'm just fighting temptation yeah. and the me for control. Yeah. That is Ooh. my song. So it is not on Spotify. Like the the soundtrack is on Spotify with like um no, I didn't touch it. it's on Spotify with four songs from the soundtrack and not the song I wanted to hear. I was pissed off. I had to go to YouTube, you know, pay for that shit. Yeah. So um fighting I was listening to that. I've been listening to Meek Mill trying to get ready for this concert because I'm excited because I love me some championships. Ain't it 31st? Yeah, it okay. is. Um, I've been listening to Young M.A. Petty Wop. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yo, it's this playlist on Spotify called Confidence Boost. I love it. Oh, okay. And it's like, uh, Beyonce, Lizzo, NASA is my favorite song by Ariana Grande. I would listen to that this morning. Jessie Reyes, I've been listening to a lot of her too. So, that's what I've been listening to lately. Her, so right now, Lala Palooza is going on. You know, I had to drive through all that shit today. So, her was out there performing when I was driving past. I was like, damn, I wish I didn't drive. I'd have set my ass over here on the lake. And you could see the um, stage from like oh, that part of the lake. Oh. So, I was like, damn. But it was packed out there. I'm so happy I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Shouts out to you. Any of you oh, driving gosh. through Chicago that's going through that. Um, the, ba the baby is supposed to be coming to Chicago Ooh. at the Riviera Theater. I think it's this Thursday. So if y'all looking for something to do, get on StubHub, get you some quick tickets and call it a day. And then last but not least, the answer to the trivia question. Okay. So, um, wait, no. Did you watch the debate? Hecky no. <laughs> no. Hecky no. I'm not gonna lie to you either. I no. just don't know if you watched it. I don't, I don't. Uh, I'm disgusted. I don't even know where to start. We gonna leave that up to the outside next perspective. We'll leave it up to next week. <laughs> we'll have Ooh, something to say. Somebody cheating on the car now. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it up to the outsider's perspective. Okay. To, to, to give us debate. I ain't, I know I ain't gonna watch that, honey. I watch the recaps on Instagram. I, I need to watch it. I don't have cable. Girl, I need to They got a YouTube channel. <laughs> they got a free web thing. Okay. So the answer to our trivia question, if you've been on Twitter with us. Uh, what was the name of the song sampled in the bad boy hit Mo? I sound like a uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Mo, <laughs> Mo Money, Mo Problems by Mace, Biggie, and P. Diddy. Do you know the answer? No, I saw it, but I still didn't know it. <laughs> the name of the song. What are you know? The name of the song is "I'm Coming Out" by Diana Ross. Oh God. Yeah. Now, yeah. I want the world. <laughs> no. 
Anyways, guys, so if you are listening to this right now, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And then you need to tell that friend that they need to get on hlxmagazine.com, read about <laughs> all of the dope ass artists that are featured here and on this bomb ass station. And you need to get on Spotify, tape in HLX Radio, mm-hmm. or on Apple Podcasts, get in tune, yes. and listen to the replays. Yes. So, if you, want, if you want more of us, because duh, who <laughs> wouldn't? Like, for real. For real. And, like, we wear dope t-shirts, so you should also yeah, watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you follow us on Instagram. Yes. What's yours? April Park Art. And I am A to Nate on everything. Yes. And we will see you guys in the next or we'll talk to y'all next week. Every Thursday at 7:30, 7:40 CP time. Uh, so bye guys. It's been real. Bye. And we're gonna close out the show with some Chris Scholar Gotti again. Yes. Because this is like our favorite song right I'm now. Excited. So I'm excited too. Yeah. I've been waiting to play this, y'all. This don't make no sense. Bye! Next week. Bye. www.hlxmagazine.com.